Okay, welcome to Crafted and Company. It's Heidi, and this is my sister Lauren. And we are headed to go to this little honey spot across the street to pick pompous grass. Whoop, whoop. And we want to, uh, Lauren's been doing some really cool, oh, the sun's in my eyes. Lauren's been doing some really cool arrangements and stuff already. Um, some really cool stuff. I'll insert some pictures here or here. And so she's inspired me and we're kind of starting to get in that little fall spirit. So um, let's go get some good footage of us trying to pick some pompous grass. I like the little grass, like those little grasses. Uh -huh. Those are cute. Those are so cute. Those are cute. I can do something with those. There's lots. Oh, look at the berries. Oh, lots of nature back here. Mm -hmm. Nurture. Oh, there's water. Like a pond? Like a swamp. Look at this grass. What's this? What's this? Oh, that's just... Oh! What is that? I want that. What? These little grasses. Oh. These little guys. Let me pick those. Okay, we're foraging. Come on. I like to forge. Oh, yeah. Hi. What are you going to make with those? Well, I'll actually show you when we get back. I already got some like these. Look and at that crazy vine. Like, I, it really smells back here. Now, just imagine how cute. How cute. So cute. Ooh, what are those called? It looks like wheat. Timothy hay. Oh, God, I'm so allergic to that. No. I am. <gasps> I think that's Timothy Hay because that looks like what I used to feed um, Chad. And he, they eat the ends of those. They love the ends. Of, that's like a delicacy. Keep those away from me, I tell ya. I won't get them near ya. These are adorable though. I could do. Yeah, but that is. I'm pretty sure that is Timothy Hay. Unless I'm wrong, but uh, they just look very familiar. It's not wheat. That is definitely not wheat. But if you spray those yes. and seal them. I'm going to look at Hobby Lobby tomorrow for some of that, for some spray. Mod Podge spray. Something. Or old school Aquanet. High cheaper. It. Set it in the back seat, and then all those little things fell apart. And um, not all of them. Yeah, look at that. Okay, oh. pompous grass. I'm just gonna leave her going. Are you getting out, or are you just? Gonna I'm getting watch? no. I'm getting out. I'm getting my rain boots on. All right, guys. Let's see what we can find. She's already. These are tall. Wow. They don't look that tall. That's an ornamental bush, I tell you. Those are like a purpley brown pompous. I mean, those are pretty, though. I know. I just... I mean, I know there's white mixed in, but... So you haven't taken anything from here, or you have? I did. Just a They're like straight up. Oh, that's pompous grass. Looks like very, like, It's tropical. so tall. I didn't know. I mean, when you're driving down the road, it doesn't look that tall. 
So we can also That's crazy. We could also walk along the front. But um I think I can get with this I can get a good amount. That looks super tropical. Here, you want me to help? Here, you be my hoer. Well, hold on. I'm... Oh, they just... Oh, you got it. Okay. I don't know if I want to set them down. I feel like the brown ones are really bushier. I know. I took a brown one home. And it's sitting outside, and I'm letting it dry out, and I'm gonna see if it turns white. Sometimes you can bleach them. They're just, those aren't dried out. Oh. And I don't, so I don't know. I would assume they're the same kind, but these are yeah, like they... dried with no leaves. And those are green leaves. So those are old. That's what I'm thinking. So Tessa was telling me in the fall, the best time for the pompous grass because it's all drying out, all that stuff. So it's just not there yet. Well, it is just not full. But some of those are old. At least you get fresh ones. You think I should go for the bigger purple ones? I just don't know if they're gonna dry out like these do. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those um, those brown ones are, are going to dry out. They're just live in color right oh. now. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll help you. Okay, guys, so we got this so far. And I found a few cattails I'm gonna preserve. Not that one, and that one. I got three. Yeah. Okay. Got the boots on. But it's still kind of scary getting down in there because you just don't know what is in there. Any more? Oh, yeah. she got a handful. But we're trying to figure out, because these are beautiful. They're not a different kind. They're the same kind. They just need to dry out. And there's so many at our fingertips. So I think it'd be worth cutting them, but she's impatient. And uh, Well, I picked a tester earlier today. You're getting some. Let's cut the cord. So yeah. But these are really pretty. And if you let them dry like in a vase, they'll dry just like that. And there's so many, so many. And that's pretty, but yeah. And then, so we were down in there and then we came over here and we went down, down in there. And that's where the cattails are. Let's see them down in there. And then lots of pompous grass. And man, that stuff is tall. It's like a, a jungle back up in there. Wow. So, and there's tons. I mean, that's all cattails. I could probably get a bunch. All oh, cattails. But I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with them. But you also wanna get them and preserve them before they start exploding. 
and when they explode their seeds go everywhere I don't really want to go back down there to show you but let me see if I can zoom in right there <laughs> you can right center right center that's an exploded cattail looks kind of like cotton This would be a good place to go mushroom hunting. Maybe with all the moisture. Yeah. And the trees. Yeah. Possibly. Some big old trees. I'm telling you, you need to bring Milo go mushroom hunting with you. He'll be yeah. on it. it. Ooh, I wouldn't last a day in the jungle, girl. Or in the forest. At least we don't have bears and alligators. Could you imagine? If we had, like, all that stuff to be scared of up we here. Would, we wouldn't be as outdoorsy as No, nope, we wouldn't. That is for sure. If we were in Florida or down south, mm -hmm. all this swampy, yeah. that would be alligator just ha haven. But fortunately for us Midwesterners, we ain't got to worry about by it. We're spoiled. <laughs> But I still am scared of snakes, even if they're not poisonous. For sure. I know this is a well, that's cute. I actually made a little arrangement. I think it's the Timothy Hay. I'm telling you. I made a little arrangement with a bunch of random grasses. Like yeah, look at that. Wall. There would be an alligator living oh, in that swamp. Mushrooms on this lawn. Ooh, are those the edible kind? I don't think so. I don't know. I think those chantels, I think there were chantels growing in our backyard. It looked like it. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, look! 
look at this. That's that stuff you just cut. The wind, again, you don't want to touch anything that's going to get us in trouble. Or that people will be mad. You know, like when you took the, down here. Uh, what was that, the lavender from the bank? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fall, though. It was late summer, early fall, wasn't it? Yeah. No? What are they going to do with it? Maybe I'll edit that part out. <laughs> yeah, don't don't tell my dirties. It's not, it's not too good. A pinnacle. And then we have this gated community up here that's real. Oh, they're bougie. They have, they're a, real they have a golf course. Did you know that? Oh, do they really? Yeah, look. There's holes. Oh, look, it's wow. All, there, it's a golf course. It's probably oh, a not currently a nine. Right. But those are like probably four million dollar houses. Oh yeah, that's, that's pretty bougie. That's straight. Um to check it out? Well, I mean we can, but I'm just huh. curious what's down there. I wanna get some corn this fall. Okay, it that's illegal. Yeah, it's illegal. Yeah, but you know there's always stocks they miss. Oh, I wonder if Greenview rents out this There are here. people who live right on the field, too. You know that they nab a few for their well, they fall might, decor. They might own the field, though. Maybe. Mom used to go out. Well, you know, it wouldn't hurt to go out in the country a little further. Her and Judy Stewart used to go out in Mom's oh, station Judy wagon. Oh, Judy Stewart. Judy oh. Stewart. And they would go and cut. They would go foraging for cattails. And the corn is looking and good. And corn. Do you know that down by Jenny, there's actually farmers who grow sweet corn? And I mean, not just like a local farmer. I mean, that mass produces the sweet corn. I always oh. just thought it was like the corn around here was for like ethanol and stuff. Right. And, but I, but they were already, um. Up, I bet. What is this, this road? Oh, Knoxville. Cool. Oh. I'm going to go straight. We don't know where we are. Well, we're, uh, remember we went down this road when we were trying to figure out where the sun sets? Did we go down here? Uh huh. I remember. We were following the sunset a little bit. Hmm. That's back when we were trying to figure out how the earth was tilting. This is to. That's more that stuff I like. I used to go over there and sit on. Matter of fact, that's where I got stung by the, the bumblebee. My first bee sting ever was under that weeping willow, and I still love the, the weeping willow. Well, it means even more now. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, honestly, I think that over off of, I mean, there is quite the honey pot over there of compost grass. It's just it not dried out yet. It is. So I wonder if we should Google about like the life cycle of compost grass. Let's like, do it. How long does it take to dry out? Like what's the drying out process? Right. 
look at all the corn. So in a previous video, I talked about how it was like our neighborhood and then like nothing but cornfields basically. And so that's that. Now we're heading back that direction. Biden sucks. <laughs> oh, funny. I saw that sign. I'm like, oh my god, that's hilarious. Let me be oh, lots of cattails, and those are easy to get to. Wow. Those are really like just very. Well, that's when you would want to harvest them for their beauty. You know, we go now. Had all that. she did with stuff she found even the little cattails huh mm -hmm. you oh. gotta spray that for sure I already did. <laughs> oh you did okay <laughs> throw those will explode you don't want that to happen in your house and then what you do to preserve cattails and compass grass is you can use the smudge podge matte spray and that will seal everything up so clear acrylic sealer. You can also just buy a clear acrylic sealer or you can use Aquanet hairspray. I heard that works really good too. And probably a little cheaper. And I think they still make that. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So anyway, that's that guys. So here we are a couple days later and she's just working away and I haven't got started on what I think I want to do. I'm not really in the fall crafty mode yet. I want to finish my buffet and um, I have some other things I'm working on and then I'll get fall crafty. But in the meantime, say thanks for watching, Lolo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching. We just had some good sister time the other day and thanks for coming along for our 
uh, foraging of pompous grass and just some little sister talk time. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. You sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me.